Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Mike from Aravox Studios. Thanks for tuning back in with us. I greatly appreciate that. You don't know how much that means to me. I hope you're having a great day. So today we're going to get into why you should ditch your mouse and get into a trackball. First thing, just the noise, okay? The noise alone. So look at this. If I'm just moving around here, yeah, just moving the mouse around, it makes a lot of noise. Okay, so that is the first problem. When I use my trackball, you can see me moving around, scrolling on the screen, you know, all this kind of lovely jazz, right? Well, it's pretty quiet. This is the Kensington Expert wireless mouse. All right, I like this one a lot, but the only problem that I have with it is sometimes when I click something, it will get stuck. So there's some connectivity issues and it's not just this one. I've had two of these and they both did it. So that just lets you know, kind of watch out for the, you know, the Bluetooth ones or whatever. I would go for the Kensington Slim Blade. Number one, it looks super cool. Number two, it's wired, so it's gonna like respond very, very accurately and quickly. Whereas the Bluetooth one, sometimes just the connectivity is not super solid. So having less noise in the room, that's huge, right? Super convenient. I will never go back to a mouse. Never, ever, ever. Let's say that you've got a vocalist in the same room that you're working in, right? And you guys are both in headphones. I assure you that this mouse is coming through the microphone, just like this mouse, it's coming through the microphone right here, right now. Okay, so every time I click something, it's all coming into the microphone, right? Now, this mouse right here, it makes noise too. When I click, you can definitely hear it. It makes noise when I scroll, but it does not make the desk noise. So every time I'm moving around here, it's real nice, you know? If I wanna go left and right in my session, I just hold shift and I scroll the outer wheel, okay? If I want to go up or down, I just scroll the outer wheel. If I want to zoom in on the waveform and get my waveforms bigger, I hold shift option and it will zoom in and zoom out of the waveforms. It's huge, okay? I use that all of the time. And it will do it to all the audio in the entire session. All right, every waveform getting blown up there. Now the mouse, it's gonna do the same thing as the trackball. So, I mean, it's not like it's missing any of these features, but I feel like it's more comfy on the trackball. So if we were to do shift control on the keypad and then swipe up on the mouse, that increases our clip gain, okay? If we do shift, control, swipe down on the mouse, that decreases the clip gain, which is handy. I use clip gain all the time, okay? So that way I can get my compressors to react to a performance consistently, okay? So it'd be the same thing over on the trackball, but you would just scroll the track wheel. I kind of prefer to scroll the track wheel. Uh, next thing, if you do shift option and go up or down on the mouse, that zooms in and out of the session horizontally, right? If we do shift option with the trackball, that does the waveform. Okay, so I'm super into the waveform view. But on the mouse, if we do shift option left or right, swipe, that increases the waveform size. That's pretty sick. If we do just control and swipe up with our finger, look at that. Look at us. See? See what we're doing? We're doing things, people. But what's cool is the trackball does the same thing, but I get to scroll that wheel and I kind of like scrolling the wheel. All right. so. One of my favorite things about the Slim Blade opposed to the Trackball Expert is the track wheel on the outside of the ball is so nice. The way it clicks and the sound that it makes, it's super quiet, but it just feels fancy. The only disadvantages that I can see of a trackball compared to a mouse would be uh, one that us guys are used to. Um, we've already been 
cleaning our balls for our whole lives, but you got to clean your ball sometimes. Nothing new for us, but just something that you want to do because I'll tell you what, like uh, this pocket here, it, it gets kind of dirty and, and uh, guys, come on, it's, it's 2023. I don't think, uh, are we into dirty pockets? I don't think so. I'm, I'm at least not into the dirty pocket thing. So uh, with that dirty pocket, sometimes the ball doesn't roll as smooth as you want it to and uh that's a sign it's time to clean that thing okay <laughs> the other disadvantage would be that when you first get a trackball it's kind of difficult to use at first because the just getting used to how it moves it's a little strange at first but i assure you it does go away that weird feeling that you have oh what am i gonna do it's new it's different <laughs> it goes away and then you're like way faster than you would be on a mouse okay for example if i'm trying to take the cursor from the left side of the screen over to the right side of the screen see i have to do it in two motions right here and the sound that the mouse is making i i just you know not really into all that hearing that happening all day long it's kind of annoying and the trackball see i can get across the screen in one throw you know, I could be up to my top screen. I could be down to my bottom screen and I'm just throwing the ball. That's a lot of fun. When you get bored, you're waiting for a file to export. You know, you can like aim for a, a certain waveform right there. Toss the cursor, try to get it to land right on it. Oh, let's give it one more try. Oh, I came pretty close. It's kind of fun to play games with your ball right there. So let me know. Are you a mouse guy? Are you a trackball guy? Let me know in the comments down below. Trackball, does it beat the mouse? Mouse, does it beat the trackball? You tell me. I know for me, I'm never going back to a mouse. The trackball, after I've gotten used to it, I could never go back. And so if you learned anything from today, if you found any of these tips useful, please don't forget to comment. Don't forget to like, subscribe. It goes a long way to help out the channel and I will appreciate it greatly. I love you all for stopping by and checking out the videos, and I will see you guys at the next one. Peace.